Hi everyone, so today I thought I would do an Emma Watson inspired makeup tutorial that is kind of summer appropriate and quite bright but also fresh and quite pretty at the same time. And when I say Emma Watson inspired tutorial I mean kind of very loosely, I'm kind of going to do my own thing, I'm not going to use exact products or anything like that but it's just inspired by a look that I've seen her wearing at a Times event recently and she always wears kind of a very similar makeup, it's very fresh, kind of a bold lip that's sometimes a bit muted. I'm going to go slightly brighter today just because that is what I'm feeling and words. So yeah, it's kind of loosely inspired, no liner though this time, just kind of a nice bright lip and very fresh kind of dewy but not too dewy skin. So I'm really looking forward to kind of cracking this one out because I haven't done something like this in a while. If we ignore the red lip, get ready with me, I did last week. So to start off with, I'm going to be using the Dior Nude Skin BB Cream. Anyone remember this from last summer when I was obsessed with it? I used it almost every day. It's kind of got about a quarter of it left, which I'm quite sad about. And I love this because it's got really good coverage, but it's also very lightweight on the skin. It's kind of magical in a way because I don't really understand how it feels so thick but so light at the same time. It's just completely amazing and I love this. So if you want a very light, fresh, kind of natural skin but with good coverage then I would definitely look into this one. It's obviously a little bit more pricey but definitely look into it. Um, dupes include the Bourjois CC cream I think it is which is very very similar. Way more fragranced so I can't really wear it but um, if your skin doesn't mind fragrance then definitely look into that one. So I'm just taking a pump of that onto the back of my hand and then as usual I'm just using my Sephora Pro Air Brush Foundation Brush which is number 55. Um, just taking that onto the brush and then dotting that onto my face. And you really don't need very much of this at all. It's just one of those magical, lightweight, you barely need anything kind of products. And hopefully it will cover my little friend on my forehead. This is the thing I love about this BB cream is that it's so covering that I don't normally need to use a lot of concealer except for under my eyes. So I can kind of pray that it's going to cover up my friend on my forehead that's made itself at home. So that is my base done. I still have a little bit left over on the back of my hand so I'm just going to take it off and just run that down my neck just to make sure everything is blended properly. Now in terms of concealer, Emma doesn't really wear too much. You can tell everyone has concealer on because otherwise there would be some serious dark under eye circles going on but she doesn't wear kind of a lot of highlighting, brightening concealers. She tends to just wear concealer and it looks very fresh. So I'm going to be using the MAC Pro Conceal and Correct palette in the shade medium and I'm just going to be correcting my under eyes with that so I'm going to be using this pinky shade here just to counteract any dark circles and this stuff really is all kinds of magical, I am obsessed with it. And then I'm just going to be taking this top kind of pinky but slightly darker um, concealer shade here which is just kind of to cover up everything a little bit more rather than correct because um, my under eye bags need work people. People always say to me, oh, you don't need any makeup, but this camera is actually very kind to me. It's one of the reasons I haven't replaced it yet. So I feel like I am quite nicely concealed and corrected now. I'm just leaving a few of my kind of like scars and freckles to do their own thing just because this is a very kind of light base look. So I'm just leaving some scars here just to chill out and I'm not really too bothered about those but if you are then cover them. Next I'm going to just do a tiny weeny bit of contouring because Emma kind of normally has a very kind of chiselled cheekbone and you can see that her makeup artist does kind of do a lot of the accentuating for her. She has lovely cheekbones anyway but there is some makeup going on there as well which I'm totally happy about because it means I get to crack up the bronzer. So as usual I'm going to be using the Chanel Healthy Glow Multi Powder and I'm just taking this on my NARS Yachio Kabuki brush and just dusting that in my cheekbones and kind of swirling that round. I've just gone to town there and I'm kind of liking it. Whoa. And then I'm just going to dust a bit more onto my temples just to kind of blend that in a bit more. It just kind of makes everything look very seamless if you kind of do this three shape like this. One of those moments where I just realised that for ages now I must have had a bit of the brush on my face. That's embarrassing. For those of you wondering, I am aware of how overboard I've gone with the contour, but I'm kind of just okay with it today, so we're just gonna roll with it. Also, just looked at my background, back here, you know, that background, and um, I'm realizing how much I've channeled Alex's setup from last week, from her birthday makeup tutorial. Um, we, we didn't talk about this, I've just kind of done it, so 
Um, yeah, I'll link that video up below because her background was insane and I just really appreciated the lighting in it and I know lots of you do as well, so I'm gonna link that video below for you guys. So I'm gonna leave it there in terms of contour before I turn into an Oompa Loompa and I'm going to be using some blush next, which is the Benefit Sugar Bomb blush, but any kind of natural pinky blush will do. I really like this one because it's got some natural pinky colors, a kind of taupey color and then a warm kind of orangey peachy colour and it kind of just swells together and makes something really pretty and natural and I'm just going to use the tiniest amount because Emma doesn't really wear too much but everyone always has some on and you just can't see it in photos and it just kind of helps to make your face look a little bit more glowy and healthy. So again I'm just taking that on my NARS Yachia Kabuki brush and I kind of tend to just tap it in the middle so I get all four bits, tap a bit off on the back of my hand and then just kind of do a little smiley motion and apply it to my cheeks. absolutely love this blush. I found it a few weeks ago and I was like, yes, yes, all over this, yes. And I'm gonna be using the MAC eyeshadow in Patina next, which is a really pretty kind of cool toned, goldy, taupey color. I'm so descriptive. You'll have to forgive me, it's first thing on a Monday morning and my brain has fallen out. But yeah, I'm gonna be using this eyeshadow and just take it on a blending brush, just sweep it all over my lid because Emma just kind of wears very neutral, kind of light, shimmery colours. She doesn't wear anything that's too in your face because she normally goes quite bold on the lips. So I thought this was the perfect shadow to use and it is just absolutely stunning and it's not too light so for those of you with kind of darker skin tones it works but it also works on very pale skin tones it looks like more of a brownie taupey colour that is still very light reflecting and very just very subtle and to apply this I'm just going to be using a Zoeva 228 Luxe Crease Brush which is just amazing for blending any eyeshadow in I just love it and then I'm actually just going to take a little bit of my bronzer onto the blending brush and just run that through my crease just a tiny weeny bit I'm going to tap most of the excess off but just to make sure I get a really clean blended out line so next I'm going to do lashes and I'm actually going to be applying some individual lashes because I've been looking at lots of pictures of Emma's makeup and you can tell that she does always wear just a couple of lashes just in the outer corner she doesn't ever wear like a whole strip of lashes but she does kind of wear some subtle fluttery ones that are very very natural and almost undetectable I had to get really up close and personal with some photos so I'm going to just apply a few individual lashes in the corners and these are the easiest to apply because you can kind of let the glue dry to a certain extent on the back and then drop them in and they just sit there and dry and they don't move about a lot because you don't have a whole strip that is kind of of moving each individual bit of lash it's just one and it just sits there and dries and yeah done I'm gonna regret saying this because I'm now probably going to have a nightmare applying these on camera and for this I'm going to be using the Tanya Burr individual lashes but you can use whatever you like uh, you can use Ilo which are quite similar and I think a little bit cheaper or you know whatever you want and whilst I wait for everything to set in place on one eye I then move on to the other eye so I kind of do two on each eye and then flick backwards and forwards and I'm gonna use around four on each eye just in the outer corners today. So now the eyelashes are set, I'm just going to be using the Maybelline Lash Sensational Mascara and I'm just going to apply a couple of coats of that, nothing too drastic, but I'm also going to apply it to the bottom lashes as well because Emma kind of normally has just like a tiny little kind of 60s vibe with some longer under eye lashes going on. So eyes are done, now I'm gonna move on to brows and I'm going to be using the usual duo, which are the Soap and Glory Brow Archery Pencil and the L'Oreal Brow Artist Plumper. These two are just amazing and I'm gonna be using them today, but not as heavily as I would usually. So Emma's brows are kind of very full naturally, they have a really nice shape, they don't really need too much work doing to them. And they're not ever overly defined or shaped, so I'm just gonna kind of fill in any sparse patches and then groom them into place or kind of into a messy fashion and leave them at that. So I'm just filling in the top section where my brows are kind of the most sparse. I'm gonna leave the front to kind of do its own thing and then do the underside a tiny bit, but not as much as I normally would just to keep them looking quite natural, but also quite messy and not too shaped. And then I'm just brushing them through with the L'Oreal Brow Artist Plumper and just kind of brushing up and out and not really worrying about securing them in place too much. So the final part of this look and the main thing about it is the lip that I'm going to do and I'm going to be doing a kind of orangey 
red lip that's kind of a little bit kind of patted in so it's not too in your face but it's also perfect for summer so this could be kind of like a daily face if you took away the false eyelashes or it could be perfect for an evening event. This is just kind of one of those multi-occasion looks so this lipstick is perfect. This is the new Kendall Jenner Estee Lauder lipstick and the shade of this is Restless and it is just such a gorgeous colour and it's matte so it's perfect for summer, there's no slipping and sliding around and this smells incredible. It smells like a MAC lipstick and I don't think any of the other Estee Lauder lipsticks smells like this so I really hope they release more of these because these are kind of my favourite Estee Lauder lipsticks so far. And I'm just going to be applying it straight from the bullet onto my lips because I want it to look a little bit more, I'm not going to say natural because a red lip is never natural, but a, a little bit less kind of full on and a little bit less overdrawn and just a little bit more subtle. And this stuff is super super matte so I'm going to be using my fingers to kind of smudge this in. When smudging lipstick out, I always keep wipes close by because no one wants that on their white bed sheets. So that is the finished makeup look. It's super pretty and the lipstick is really long lasting so you can go out and not really worry about touching up too much. It just works so well with whatever you're doing and I really, really love it. I hope you guys do too. Give it a thumbs up if you did and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.